the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 356 to Peter 1 to 3. Teachings about Jesus' second coming. God promised eternal victory to the people who kept righteousness to the end for not giving up faith in spite of much temptation. First point, so that the truth of Jesus could be maintained after he died, Peter wrote his second letter to Peter. In Peter's second letter, Peter stressed not to be shaken by false teachers or surrounding temptations. Peter emphasized to grow and mature in the grace and wisdom of Jesus Christ. Peter revealed the reason as to why he wrote one and two Peter. Firstly, he wished for the church members to stand straight in faith. Secondly, he wished for them to be strong in faith even after he died. The death of Peter had been mentioned by Jesus beforehand. How Peter would glorify God through death? Second point, Peter testified the Son of God whom he met personally and also proclaimed Jesus' second coming so that the church members did not become tempted by false teachings, Peter once again stressed the second coming of Jesus. Peter was able to confidently testify Jesus' second coming, as he had heard and experienced God's voice personally. Furthermore, Peter knew the Old Testament that directed towards Jesus' second coming. These verses were not to be interpreted lightly or as one pleased. At the time of writing this, Peter knew that he did not have too long left to live. Thus, he all the more wished to tell the church members not to waver in their faith in Jesus. He believed that the gospel of Jesus Christ was beyond and above everything. Peter was a disciple of Jesus for three years, and so he was all the more able to testify Jesus, as well as Jesus' second coming. Third point, Peter strongly warned the false teachers of God's judgment that was to come. Peter warned once again of the false teachers. Peter outlined the characteristics of the false teachers and the false teachings. First, they would come into the church quietly among them, and then take the church members slowly to the false teachings. Second, they were the ones to perish after denying God. Third, they would seduce and tempt the church members for their own benefit, and then use the church members to earn money. Peter stressed that God would most certainly judge these people by sending them to hell or by an accident such as the time of the flood during the war. Peter also mentioned the fall of Sodom and Gomorrah. As such, these evil people were bound to be punished by God. Peter warned strongly against these false teachers and told the church not to be tempted. Peter continuously stressed the gospel of Jesus Christ and the importance of the Bible in the church. Fourth point, Peter once again taught about Jesus' second coming. Peter confirmed that Jesus' second coming would indeed happen. This was a proclamation for the false teachers to hear. Peter then told them to remember the instant of the flood during Noah. Although the false teachers taught that the world would not end as it had not changed since creation, Peter wrote that the end would come when God judged the earth. Peter then mentioned the reason as to why Jesus' second coming was delayed. The first was because God's time and human time was different. 
Second, because God is waiting for humans to repent. Third, no one actually knew of the time of Jesus' second coming. Fifth point, Peter taught that we will realize the whole Bible fully when Jesus comes for the second time. Peter now wrote his final message. Peter concluded by teaching them to live holy until the final day and to work hard in order to stand tall before God. Peter also warned against the people who would read his letter and misinterpret it intentionally. Peter blessed them and prayed for them to be with Jesus Christ and then ended his letter. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.